Hello, welcome to OK Talk, powered by Softball Dino. My name is Brett Van Hooser, and I'm sitting here with Helena Novotna Hello. and yours, uh, Jeroen Spears. Um, they're our guests today. We're going to be discussing some of the games that happened yesterday. We've got the Karen Took interview for celebrating her 100th cap for the Netherlands and a couple interviews and highlights as well. So those are going to be coming up. And uh, it's going to be a great show, I think. Uh, we've gotten off to a great start in the tournament, Helena. Uh, it's great to have you, your own first time I've met you as well. Thank it's you. It's going to be a good time. Um, what was your takeaway from yesterday? Well, we've seen a couple of exciting games, and especially in the morning you saw the jitters. Everybody was excited to be here. People were cheering. The crowd was filled in the evening. The stands were full. So uh, I think we're in for a good week. I agree. I agree. Um, and you're from Czech. So uh, yes. do you have a favorite team here this week? Well, of course, I do. <laughs> But yeah, the tournament is amazing and I was really excited to come to see the emotions because this is just a one in a lifetime opportunity for all the teams. Great, great. So we're looking for some highlights right here for day one. Um, like I said, we got off to a great start and we've, we're going to discuss, we've got the Czech-France game, Netherlands-South uh, Africa from yesterday. And uh, it's going to be really, really nice to get through some of these interviews, get to know some of the players and enjoy the afternoon uh, here today. We're also going to be live streaming tomorrow at 12 and uh, we're just going to get it rolling and uh, it's very hot here today so obviously we've got the water, we've got a few of the props, it's all set. So obviously I'm filling in for Sep today, you saw him yesterday, he did a great job and uh, he wanted me to sit under the hot lights today so that's what's, what's going to be happening. Um, in these games going on today, uh, Kind of think I kind of think that the Netherlands uh, coming off their game yesterday is going to be doing pretty well. But um, what's your takeaway from the Netherlands team so far from what you've seen? Well, if you look at yesterday, it was a like let's say a pure professional win. I mean, they did what they needed to do. They came out. Ilona pitched four strong innings, and their offense was hot. I mean, everybody got their hits in. People were looking very comfortable in the box. And of course, if you win 11-1 in four innings, that sets the tone for a good week. So right now we've got the Netherlands game from South Africa last night. Like like we said, they got off to an 11-1 win. Uh, here's Afa Fortman rounding the bases, sliding hard into third base. Uh, from last night's game, uh, yesterday coming off the Czech game to the Dutch, what do you think uh, the competition level is looking like? Well, I think the yesterday was kind of like a warm-up for the top-ranked teams because they got on the lower-ranked teams, and today we'll see the first same level game, Italy and the Czech Republic, which is going to be, I think, a very tough game for everybody. Definitely the top game of the day. Yeah. yeah. Um, as far as uh, the Netherlands players coming up, the new players from this year, uh, how familiar are you with some of the young talent compared to who's coming back from last year? Well, you see a lot of experienced players in the team, like yesterday, the top performers in the team were people like Britt Fong going three for three, scoring three runs. You had Dinette Austin coming in, I think also hitting two for two, yeah. three RBIs in the game. That was amazing. Virginie Annevel, one of the veterans in the team, also two for three yesterday, three RBIs. Those are amazing. But you also see the young kids come in, like uh, one of my players in the team, for example, is Lichtfoot. First Europeans uh, two weeks ago, now she's already an Olympic qualifier. You see the jitters, but then she gets the hit and you start feeling more comfortable. And that's what talented players need, so. Good deal, good deal. And uh, the Czech France, we've got Netherlands and South Africa. And uh, here comes the Karen Took interview. Um, Connie and, interview we've got. Oh, we've got the Connie interview first, yeah? So we're going to go to the, the Connie interview. With hey, this Connie is Brett Van Hooser live at the Trek uh, softball, softball qualifier for the European, European and African uh, Olympic, Olympic Road to Tokyo. Tokyo. Standing Stand with Coach Connie Clark, Clark Kingdom of the Netherlands softball, softball coach. coach. Uh, congratulations, congratulations on the win today. What did you think of the first game? Well, thank you. First of all, it's always good to get the first one out of the way. I just there's so much, especially being on the turf, so much pageantry leading into the game that I just couldn't wait to pop out and get the only play ball. So good start. Hopefully, Hopefully really good week. Week. Absolutely. So it was a quick start against South Africa tonight. You guys scored early and often. It seems like the team was pretty focused. Uh, do you think that's going to be a, a, a big thing moving forward in this tournament? Well, you know, it's one thing that we talked about after the game because there was so much leading into the first bid, first game, and then it was on our home turf. 
um, especially with home teaching, to make, make sure, sure when there's down, down, that much downtime, down 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 we can then get ready, 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 ready for the building. And I thought we did a good job kind of resetting and gathering up and just, you know, pitcher, our, you know, he loved to throw his pounds to the mid on the first pitch and you know we're ready to go. So I like that. I think that's really important for us. Absolutely. What's tomorrow looking like for you as far as the schedule and getting the girls out here? Well, we'll do a little, we've got a really nice setup, um, and, you know, with being able to know our schedule in advance, and, you know, it's not bracket play where you're seeing what if, you right, know, exactly right. when you're playing. But you can kind of lay out the days and get a little uh, activation in, some good rest, hydration, all the things that are important when, when we're getting super hot weather that I don't think you guys Absolutely, are used to. This feels right. like Texas weather. Today, yeah, it's so, humid, right? Um, so, yeah, I think we've got a good layout for them, and uh, hopefully we just get better as the week goes on. Good deal. So, uh, as the week moves on, um, you got to win every game to get to Tokyo. Okay, that's a big, uh, a big step. Um, what do you think the hardest thing, as far as uh, from the playing standpoint, not the coaching standpoint, but on the field, keeping that focus and maintaining that energy on a hot week like this? Uh, quite honestly, just trying to keep the players loose. I mean, I think that we've talked a lot about that over the last few days, building into the tournament about and, and trying to simulate pressure and all that because I think sometimes when it's on your turf, that can be. It's great that the stands are all wearing orange, but sometimes you can add a little extra pressure. You know, a lot of these athletes are, this is their first opportunity and maybe their only opportunity to, to play in an Olympic because obviously in 24, it doesn't look like we're going to have it in Paris. So um, you just have to kind of, you know, keep the focus off of that and just put it on, play the pitch, you know, play the game one pitch at a time, like we always say, and really just kind of enjoy the process. I always talk about the first team to relax is probably going to have a really good tournament. And I think we're at a good place in, in that regard, and they've heard that enough that I hope it's sinking in. Good. Well, congratulations again on the win tonight. Looking forward to another conversation with you later, later. Congratulations. Good to see you. Well, that was a fun interview with Coach from last night. I know she was really ecstatic and excited about the, the win, getting off to a good start here in front of the home fans. Uh, next up, we've got the interview with Karen Tuck. She got her 100th cap, as we said. She's also the Netherlands um, home run queen in the Golden League, uh, which is pretty impressive. Here's that interview with Karen. Karen Tuck, jubilaris. 100 keer in the Netherlands team. How do you feel? Ja, heerlijk. 100 wedstrijden. Het, uh, en op dit toernooi is prachtig natuurlijk. Ja. Karen has been in the Golden League for years and years. And she's always been one of those power hitters that you cannot make mistakes to. Because if, she, if you make a mistake... Een aantal dames die ook al zo uh, geweldig hebben uh, gepresteerd. Um, het voelt lekker. Hoe zie je dat uh, voor het toernooi? Nou ja, we zijn nu natuurlijk met een winnen begonnen. Dat is, uh, dat is prachtig, dat is lekker begin. Uh, morgen was het in Spanje, we blijven gaan bouwen, we blijven een kleine dingetje goed doen, we werken als een team. En uh, ja, dan gaan we gewoon in het toernooi groeien, denk ik. So I've known Karen Tuck for about 11 years. She's a really good player. Um, and she learned from a very young age from the Czech Republic hitting coach who's here today, Monty Van Brunt. Uh, Helena, how familiar are you with Monty and his accomplishments and how he's brought up uh, the Czech hitting so far? Well, he's done an amazing job with the Czech hitters and Czech offense is very different to what it used to be and it's still growing. Well, I know Karen's looking forward to playing them later in this tournament uh, as we see her right now on some of these highlights. She had a great day. Obviously, the celebrating of the 100th cap, that's quite an accomplishment. For um, sure. And we've got another one coming up. I'm not going to give away that surprise, but we've got another one coming up here. Now, that falls me in the dark, but the team is perfect. They fill each other enorm aan, understand each other. There is workless, there is focus. Feel you that also? Yeah, zeker. We we werken voor elkaar. And als iemand het niet goed doet, dan pikt de ander diegene op. Op de bank hebben we spelers die uh, klaar zijn om in te vallen en het uh, eventueel over te nemen. Dus uh, nee, gaat goed. Nou, dan uh, dank ik je voor dit interview. Ik wens je nogmaals, uh, of ik feliciteer je nogmaals met uh, dit 100, uh, de honderdste wedstrijd. En ik hoop dat er nog 100 volgen, wat mij betreft. Dank je wel. So obviously, um, the Netherlands is off to a fun start. Uh, but Helena, you're here for, um, with the ESF, European Softball yes. Federation. Um, how long have you been working with them? This is actually my fifth year. Okay. And uh, we try to cover all European events, but I have to say that this event has such a good coverage by the organizers and also the WBSC that 
we're mostly ju just sharing whatever they produce and uh, for me it's also work for Czech softball here so I try to combine it. Oh, that's great. It's, it's obviously good when you can cross those bridges together. Um, you just came from last month, you had the Men's World Championship Series. How did that go? That was an amazing event. I think we had a lot of positive feedback, like super positive feedback, and we enjoyed it a lot. It was outstanding. Is that something you're going to be doing uh, in the future as well? Well, I think those people who were on the LOC would never do it again, <laughs> but it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of hard work. In fact, a lot of these volunteers, they go with the, the unpraised uh, feedback. So we want to give them a shout out. Thanks for all the, the grounds crew, every volunteer, everybody who's here that makes this possible. Uh, it's been amazing so far. So uh, thanks, Helena. Um, what else, uh, what other kinds of things um, are you looking forward to outside of the softball from this event? You know, the vendors, the food, the atmosphere, the fans. What's your biggest takeaway from this, this type of an event? I think this specific event is mostly about the emotions and like the pressure that's, you can feel it everywhere. Like it's little, everybody's having fun, but there's still a lot of pressure among the teams. Speaking of pressure, let's figure out exactly how day one started uh, with the standings here at the uh, Olympic qualifiers. So day one got off to a great start. Great Britain beat uh, Spain 9-2 in game one, uh, getting this tournament off to a a high scoring start for one team. Then we have Italy 7 0 over Botswana. France lost 6 1 to Czech Republic. Yay, Helena. And then Netherlands, <laughs> obviously, 11 1 against South Africa to finish up day one uh, last night. And looking forward to all the upcoming games here today. Uh, your own. Today's game, Netherlands against Spain. Uh, what are you anticipating as far as uh, the competition level of that game compared to last night? And uh, what do you think the biggest uh, thing they're going to have to do as a team to get through tonight's game? Well, Spain against the Netherlands is definitely going to be a different game. Um, yesterday you saw a South African team, they're on offense not as strong. I mean, Spain has some girls in the lineup that you really have to watch out for. We played them two weeks ago, it was the Netherlands against uh, Spain in Ostrava. The Netherlands team was weird. Ilona pitched four innings. She did amazing. She only had two hits against. No runs, no walks, eight strikeouts. So from a pitcher, top performance. If you look at the hitting, it was a different story. It was actually a weird game. The Netherlands, they did score 10 runs because they won 10-0, yeah. but they only scored three hits. All three were home runs. Home runs from Brit Fong, Virginie Anneveld, Karin Tuck, but Spain was shaky in the field. So they need to punish all the mistakes the Spanish team can make. But, it's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, but don't mis mistake the Spanish team. They got some good hitters in the team. Very young, talented team. So definitely, they're going to give you a fight tonight. Absolutely. And what's interesting, too, is of all the teams that are here, every single one said they're going to go to the Olympics. So we'll see exactly what happens. Of course, it's an Olympic uh, dream and a once-in-a-lifetime shot. So Absolutely. So yeah. what else uh, are you doing here as far as with the WBSC uh, for this tournament? Well, I got asked last week to be here for uh, WBSC commentating the games. So uh, I'll be commentating the next game that goes live in, uh, let's say, 45 minutes. And it's actually great to do it together with my colleagues like Craig Monfida. He's knowledgeable of the game. It's fun stories that you can talk about. Diana Remus also played like 20 years of softball in her life. So all the experience is there. It's really nice to share. We have Jason Houtkamp there who has done this many times before. He's also doing the post-game interviews. and. It's just nice to meet all the people and work together. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're looking forward to the outcome of tonight's games and leading into the weekend as well. Um, closing out here tonight, uh, we just want to know exactly uh, which one of you guys is going to be watching us tomorrow at 12 o'clock, same time, right? That's what we're doing here, we'll um, here. to finish out this show. Uh, what's, your, uh, what's your outcome as far as uh, the games tonight? What's your prediction, Spain, Netherlands? Well, I think the Netherlands are going to take the win. Think so? Yes. I guess everybody here hopes so as well. <laughs> and check today, well, assuming the same thing. That's going to be tough. Well, assuming may be a strong word. We're hoping, believing, but it's going to be, I think, it may be a game of, all, of their careers, of their players. Yeah, it always comes down to uh, pitching, defense, yes. and hitting. True. You got to do it all. Got to do it all. So <laughs> we'll see exactly how this is going to play itself out. So, uh, Tonight, 
good good luck have fun stay uh stay cool stay Drink hydrated a lot of water everybody who's coming out to the ballpark today it's going to be extremely hot make sure you get a lot of water in you stay refreshed hydrated we don't we've got obviously uh health people on staff here but uh you know take care of yourself obviously the kids as well um it's going to be great so it was a great show here today I want to thank uh everybody for being with us and uh thanks elena thanks Jerome. thank you thanks for having us and uh hopefully we'll see you guys soon